set of pastels and what I'm using here is called Blue Earth Pastels. So they are a set of 335 colors. Really the same stuff as this, it's pure pigment. Look how much those clouds have changed just in the few minutes we've been here. So the fluffy white things are kind of coming down on it. I, I kind of want to eliminate that and go back to what I first saw. So when I when I do stuff like that, it's, it's just editing. And what I really need to do before I really start with this painting at all is to figure out my composition. You know, what the ratio, say, of the sky to the field, the lights to the darks and all that is going to be. And uh, I just kind of go with my gut on that. Okay, so I just very lightly uh, sketch in the overall composition, the basic shape and form. Again, scale is, is kind of important. And then we've got that distant barn over there, which I just happened to adore. So I'm going to move it slightly. It's really out here, but we're going to move it in. Nobody's going to know the difference except the farmer, but he's not standing here to watch. Stumbling. Just, I'm just uh, applying the pastel here to quickly block in and fill in with a color, with a shape and a form here to get the feeling of depth within the cloud mass, which is really what I, I want to do for this painting. And I'm not trying to, you know, obviously not trying to duplicate everything I see out there, but just get the general feel of it. So back in my the far reaches of the Skagit Valley here, is <laughs> this sort of green, warmer green than this, a little lighter, brighter. I'm putting a lot of pressure at the top of the stroke and I'm letting it fall down to the bottom here. And that's really getting a fairly nice balance already with what's there. Where I go, not quite. <laughs> it's done. Yeah, I'm, I'm finished with this one. 